would have thought uh, 10 years ago with uh, 100 or so riders that we'd be here with 1800 plus and uh, amazing atmosphere. It's, yeah, it's great. It's a little bit surreal, I think, because we've um, obviously changed the event format and everything for this year as a bit of a celebration, but doing four special stages brought back a lot of memories and a lot of interesting challenges in terms of setting it all up, but really exciting now. We wanted to make sure that riders had a wonderful experience. I mean, it's, it's one of the most beautiful parts of the world. So we really were about putting on a, a great event making sure there was fantastic experience for the riders and really showcasing the region. And if we could meld those three things together, we thought we were on a successful model and that's what's proven to be. We made our event for your weekend warrior average rider to be able to um, have a holiday on their bike and also have a personal challenge and do that. But our course and the event and everything stacks up for the elite guys. And they feel like they have ownership of it because from those very first years when James Williamson and Rowan Adams came and rode the event and gave us feedback, we listened to those guys in terms of mountain biking but also in going to lots of events. You know, year one I was just a competitor. There was something like 85 riders in total. The event looked like it had amazing potential and I met Jason and Chris here and, and the rest of the team that were running it. You know, I got to know them during that week of competing here in, in year one and uh, came back to start working with them in year two and help, help them and be part of building this great event. It was just a few riders and staff hanging out to an actual event hub where we're taking over Mugger Rivers Township. I mean, we closed down the main street for a day and this is just the culmination of a lot of hard work and a lot of people power and a lot of rider power. You know, great people, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Just good people who are very passionate about what they do and not only the, the riders but the staff, the locals, the, the private property owners. The whole thing comes together, you know, to, to make just an amazing event. From that first year, the thing that really stuck with everybody wasn't necessarily the racing or the riding itself. It was the community feeling that the event have. Like, it's a really warm, inviting feeling. And when you come to events like this, you make friends and friends that you'll have for life. It's a sport where people think it's fun all the time. But when you're racing at a professional level, it's not always fun. And it's a lot of hard work. And so, you know, it's just a really good opportunity to share the trails and enjoy riding with other like-minded people. You know, obviously the result means something when we pin our number on. But when we haven't got our number on, it's all about the pub. It's all about catching up with friends. It's all the experiences off the bike. It's a great place to be here with your family or with your friends and hire a house and drink some nice wine and have some nice food. It's all those memories as well as on the bike. Ten years ago, Margaret River wasn't a mountain biking destination. Five years ago it was, and the events bought that, and now it's like, you know, a major mountain biking destination. People are quite happy to fly from all over Australia to come here just to ride bikes. It's not about surfing down here anymore, it's about mountain biking. Our normal field 1200 and we're pushing 1800 so it's a big jump in terms of the numbers and we always expected that year 10 would have a little bit of that around it and I think also the four special stages allow the event to be more accessible than normal, it takes away some of the logistics of the point to point race and seems like it's been popular because we've got a lot of first timers as well. The model's very much about showcasing the region so each of the start finish lines is a high profile destination, the wineries, the breweries, the beaches, they're really iconic destinations so that ties it all together and it makes it really special. This year with the big 10 year celebration, it's really cool to be back and see so many excited riders and happy faces and people who are passionate about mountain biking. It's really on par with like big old big scale events out there. Like it really has that feel of something huge. The trails are always amazing, the event crew are always amazing. I think it's just the whole thing as a package. Every year you go to the Cape to Cape, you just come back on. That was awesome, I want to do it again. Yeah, this year's a big year for us, um, uh, us local people anyway. Coming out and doing 10 year anniversary, there's a lot of variation to the course, so we're all pretty excited to try out this new course. Um, we were out doing the recce ride uh, Margaret River Mountain Bike Tours uh, a couple of weeks ago and got a glimpse of it then, and it's definitely got a different flavour this year. It is you know, Australia's best four day race. This is a fourth year I've done it now, so. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see how it goes, you know, all leaving out of Margs, but obviously logistically it makes it so much easier. And it's awesome just to, to rock up to the, even to the main village last night and sit there and just go, hey, 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 how you doing, how you doing, what you doing, you know, how oh, it's the biggest race in town, you know, that every year it's a, sort of the end of our season, but it's also a whole lot of fun as well, you know, four days you get to hang out with your mates as well as race hard and this year in particular something a bit different. 
this year we've done a special course, it's for special stages. So we've gone to specific areas, picked the best trails, um, pieced together a, a circular course, so start and finish from the same um, position. And the main strategy in the course design is pick the best trails first and then work out how we get out there and how we get back. So stage one, 10 mile dam, which we haven't really used before. We'll have a whole combination of the old pines trails combined with some of the new compartment 10 stuff, South Carters and then back to Xanadu. So I think it's going to be a pretty fast day. The guys and girls are, are expecting a really fast and hard race. But I was speaking to one of the guys setting the course and he said because it's actually a little bit flatter um, and going in and out of single track a bit more often, it's more than likely going to create some tighter racing, which is really exciting. It's typically a stronger field than some of the national round, really attracts some of the best riders in the country. It's amazing how, how Cape to Cape manages to get so many great riders over here. And even this year, I mean, we've got the likes of Chris Hamilton is back from overseas and we've got some other good road riders who have turned up to give mountain biking a bit of a go. And both the women's and men's fields are really deep and um, that's just going to make it for a really exciting couple of days, I think. I really enjoy coming here and taking more of a backseat on the racing and just sort of having fun. And This is what brings you to mountain bike in the first place, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. They're just so well organised and they look after the, the, the front of the field really well and the whole field really well. It's on our calendar every year just purely because we enjoy it and being amongst all the other competitors here today, so I'd love to be able to defend my pink jersey, but it, there's some tough competition as there is every year, so we just have to take it one stage at a time and see what happens. Yeah, really happy. The whole sort of stage, I wasn't sure how I was going because it was, you know, really hard to split it up and, and everyone was riding really strong. So, um, you know, whenever, whenever someone else went to the front, it was hard for me as well. I made the race kind of my own a bit and, and that's what you got to do when there's such depth in the field. So, yeah, it's kind of paid off towards the end and um, had the legs, so. Yeah, I'm happy with that. At least I'm going to be aggressive next three days and see if I can throw something at him. Fantastic, weather's good. Got my sister and her husband just left off then in the 11.30 bunch. Yeah, it's cool. Can be really interesting. Brendan, so far, he's looking like he's got to be unstoppable, but you know, the, there's so many things that can happen in a four day stage race, so just got to put the pressure on. It's going to be an aggressive way to finish the week, I reckon. Once you're sort of getting to the pines and into the single track, it's sort of it sort of opens up a little bit to sort of sneak away and then sort of the last 15 sort of k's that's when it really got fairly tough and everyone starting to struggle. I had good position early on and then um, got a stick in my rear derailleur and had to stop to clear that. Luckily for me Tazzy Nankervis was caught out as well. He had a stick in his derailleur a little bit earlier so with him and Ryan Standish we were able to make a big regrouping before we crossed into the pines. Then it all broke up from there with Trekkie putting the hammer down and I'm happy with how I finished it off in fifth. Probably been like 12 months or so since I rode a mountain bike last, but yeah, geez, good to be back. Good to come away, hang out with my mates and 
had uh, Giant Australia and, and Shimano Australia help me out with a bike. I flew in from Amsterdam on Tuesday straight here. They had a bike for me ready to go. Yeah, really appreciative of their support. That was just wild in there. So good. Lots of good airtime and railing berms and can't ask for anything more, really. The 20k that Rowan has actually marked was unbelievable. All the new flow trails that they've put in the Pineys and all the new natural stuff is just amazing. We were literally calling out to each other, how sick was that jump? It was just super fun and just taking a step back from the leaders was it allowed us to enjoy the trail a lot more. Are you saying we didn't have fun out there? There's no way the elite riders had as much fun as Hammer and I. Like, we were killing it out there. I'm going to say that there was some whooping and hooting <laughs> from the elite pack down those same tracks. And I think that sort of shows why we love Cape to Cape. Everyone's out there having fun, but uh, I guess there's also the serious component, which I was not involved in. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to ride with the guys as like race everyone that was out there so it was awesome I just had a lot of fun we, it was a great group of people to ride around and we enjoyed the trails and all the sites all the trails through the pines were heaps of fun all the little jumps and also the route and the vineyards it was different to previous years obviously the first stage is always brutal this was brutal in a different way. It was nice to sort of have some, some sweet single track in there, but uh, I thought I'll just let Renata have it and she took off for the sprint, but the boys sort of just kept motoring. I just sat in the draft. I'm sneaky like that. But she had it on me today, Renata. I tried to get away from her. I, I know her from, from other races, but uh, not today, but I'm still super happy. Every little hill got someone kicked and uh, tried to stay in the group and pushed and pushed and then the last probably 50 metres I lost the sprint but three stages to go. The trails were so much fun today, especially once it got into the single track, it was, I just had a ball in there. You almost forget to race, you're having so much fun in there, so that was awesome. And then yeah, thought I was close to the finish and just kept going and kept going up hills and kept going along roads and down fire trails and then we eventually finished, <laughs> maybe about 10k more than what we thought but um, great stage, it was really good. <laughs> we made it! First time! <laughs> cake to cake, it's been great. No, we're definitely friendly, helping each other along the way. <laughs> it's only the finish line, maybe I'll push her back. <laughs> no, no, it's been great. We wanted a challenge and we hadn't done anything like this before, so we thought we'd give it a go, come somewhere we've never been. And the riding, the switchbacks, so there's a few parts there that were pretty flowy and amazing. Great to explore the area as well, so every afternoon we'll go and find a new place to see, so it'll be good. Well, we just met and uh, I passed her and she passed me and uh, I passed her and she passed me. It was like that all day. Well, it's nice to have someone you can recognise and you go, there's me mate, he's just up there. So <laughs> mate you've never met before. And I like that with the new format, you didn't have so many people putting pressure on you. It, the groups were smaller and I think that made it more enjoyable. So. On a really good single track you could ride without having to worry about faster riders going past and that was great I thought so uh, I really enjoyed it for that reason. Five months ago I crashed on a motorbike, landed on my head. Uh, yeah I was going to do this ride with the boys previously so yeah now the boys are all supporting me now. So maybe next year on a hand cycle and uh, got a year to get fit for it. And that's why we support him because he's just an unreal fella. I think one of the nicest guys you'll find so that's why we're here, mate. Good track. Pushed a bit, but got through. We've got another three to go, see what happens. But uh, a lot of beers tonight will make the last three days really hard. <laughs> We've done all 10 years, so it's a fantastic achievement. I think I was 13 when I did my first event, and I'm 23 now, so 10 years of good racing and good fun. Just remember lining up against Willow and thinking, oh, he's current world 24-hour champion and just being in awe of the guy. It was pretty amazing, really. 10 years is just a great achievement. It changed a hell of a lot. Oh, yeah. We were 80 riders in the beginning, and now 2,000 is amazing. Yeah. It's huge change, is it? Yeah, something about the event that's drawn us back every year, I think. Just a credit to the guys running it, and it's just a good, fun event. And I really enjoy it. Both John and I have proposed to our wives on stage in front of well over a thousand mountain bikers. Uh, I mean, in, in beautiful locations. Um, Johnny proposed in Xanadu Winery and I proposed at Cape Lewin Lighthouse. Magic spots. Well, it was at the Xanadu Winery, um, the nightly function. Jason Dover got me up on stage. I got down on one knee. I was really nervous, so I don't know if the words really came out. And so Jason had to take the mic and just uh, confirmed that my wife did actually say yes. 
But it was more like Jason actually proposed to my wife. But <laughs> she said yes. Di, can I just confirm that was a yes? <laughs> it was a yes. To share it with all my friends, it was just something I'll never forget. And during the, that race day, I must have had about three or 400 people pat me on the back at some stage. And even to today, people come up and go, oh, I was there when you proposed to your missus. And oh, it's awesome. It was really good. Pretty amazing. To be honest, kind of want to park up on the grass at about midday and just sip on some wine and I'm sure that's what will be happening after today's stage. Back again this year, every year here, I love this race. I think we're going to go through a few places that we've been the previous year, but I think now it should be a great race. The weather's really come good and I'm super pumped for Barana. It's always been part of our stage two and in essence this is our traditional stage two course. Now we're going to be finishing and starting at Lewin. We can use a whole lot of back trails to get down there and then we don't have the add-on trails afterwards. It's got all the premium trails of Barana and I think this is going to be one of the all-time great stages for the 10 years of Cape to Cape. Some of the trails were built in the early 2000s by a local guy, John Dingy. So we've just retained that, those sort of values of the forest trails. They're old fire roads just converted to single track and people love them. They flow really nicely. I mean, that moisture early in the week is just, it's just perfect out there today. Hopefully I didn't go too hard yesterday, but yeah, I'm looking forward to today. I really like the section down to the beach. Even riding back up the hill, you have to turn around and have a bit of a look. It's, it's really pretty. Yeah, the highway to hell, that thing's just loose. There's like sand holes and limestone boulders. So I get some quick K's done. It's going to be very similar to second stage from last year. So know what to expect for most of it. I'm just hoping that a lot of the people there, their legs are a bit fatigued from yesterday. So the pace won't quite be so hot. <laughs> Good. What an event, eh? <laughs> Crazy stage today. I mean, everything had everything, you know, like the the super fast downhills with the sand and the rocks and the trees, and then the same with the uphills. You know, when when you're trying to go pretty fast, the sand sort of grabs you and pushes you into the trees, and it's just on the whole race. It's great fun and um, really good sort of adrenaline while everyone's sort of in the moment. I ended up uh, getting up the road at the climb there after the hell's descent. I thought, why not uh, push my luck? If anything, I might get up the road and might be able to help Kyle out if he was to uh, then bridge across. But turned out I was feeling a lot better than I thought. Yeah, held it off for about 20 minutes. Trekkie sent it past and kind of had a bit of a laugh there. I was asking for me uh, shovel and uh, sand bucket to make some sand castles, but he went straight past. He wasn't there for games. And eventually Cam and Taz caught and we kind of chopped off the last 5K there. But kudos to them. They were the strong dudes on the day. It was pretty hot out there. Uh, 
Um, super sandy in a lot of it. Um, that's what decided the race in the end. That's where Trekkie just put the power down and we watched him right away and tried to work together to get him, but he's just too strong at the moment. It's, it's a bit of a specialised cup there between third and fifth, so with Cam Ivory and Rowan and myself. Yeah, it's sort of a race of attrition, you know. Unfortunately, Kyle had a crash and um, Dan obviously had a bad day today, so I didn't feel amazing, but time gaps were pretty small, so I've managed to move up on GC, so yeah, that's good. Highway to hell is one thing to get to the bottom of that, but you always know that uh, as we hit Conto's Road, anything could happen, so there was no backing it off by anybody. But we were taking big air off water bars and landing in soft sand, so it was pretty insane. I'd quite like to see the drone footage of what actually was going on with us because it was just a dust cloud that we were riding in. I was a few minutes back, so I came up and Ryan was uh, absolutely legend. He stopped with him and was making sure he's OK. Um, but I told him to keep going because he's got a bit more at stake in this than I do. So I had a quick look at Kyle and a chat to him and I think he's definitely got a concussion and he's either badly dislocated or done his collarbone, unfortunately. So, yeah, definitely not a good outcome. And we had a good, like, 20-minute walk to discuss it. <laughs> uh, one thing uh, that was, happened when I was walking with Kyle is he spotted Samara coming up the fire trail and he goes, oh, hang on, and he dove off into the bushes because he didn't want to throw her off her race, so she rode past without knowing until she got to the finish here. really close off the start. I could ha I had Renato and Peter were just on my wheel. We were going up the single track climb and I thought they were still there but it must have just dropped back and then somehow the, where the bunch split and just formed a group with some of the other competitors and we just pushed it together and came home. There's a lot of internationals here and actually a lot more Kiwis out there than I realised so that, that was, was really friends. fun. Very fast to start. I uh, managed to stay on some good wheels, though, some good trains getting out in there, and then it was nice and boring up and got some good places going up the hills, I think, as well, made up some time. And when you know that other people are chasing you for time, it makes you, it makes you go a bit faster. I was really strong in the beginning, and then later on, yeah, I had to clip the wheel and kiss the sand. And... Yeah, lost it a bit there, but otherwise it's good, yeah. Awesome to be in trees in your backyard, um, riding with your friends. I did a lot of it with Matty Rodeo, just to share, you know, three hours with a good mate out there in the carry forest. It's awesome, and to finish here at Lewin Estate. Just a big vision of all the vines and the trees and all the people and hearing Eric on the commentating, and geez, it gets you home. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool, you know, like he lives right next to the trails, and Brooksley's such a big figure of this local area, and he's had so much input into the mountain biking trails. The fact that today's race stage went straight past his house is is awesome you know and it gives it that kind of intimate feel which is what this event is known for and when you come here you feel a part of the community and you feel like everyone's behind this event i've been riding in a later stage this is my first ever endurance event i've actually never even ridden 63 k's on the bike before so people helping out with tips people being really patient people being really encouraging giving you the prompt to still go on stuff i probably wouldn't usually um have a go on a few of the boys from the Tri Club uh, sort of found a, found a kid online and uh, yeah, thought, you've got to go to the Lumberjacks, I'm a bit different. Yeah, everyone always has a bit of a laugh, so you can't take things too seriously, can you? It was pretty hot, but it was all right. Yeah, I'm just happy to finish. Mad Dog Kenny over here, inspiration. This is his bike, he's let me use it. I'm just happy to be out here doing it with him. Uh, he, yeah, he can't complain about his own bike, but looking after it, and uh, he's keeping up with the boys, so I just told him he has to try and beat him, that's all. Can't let that bike lose. Came third in the group, so... Glenn's next. He's, he's pretty good, he's only 15. I'm 32 and he nearly beat me, so it's not a bad effort. Basically, if, if I beat him every day, he's got to end up with a hair look up like this, so. <laughs> but he doesn't want to do it. Today was just beautiful, just nice and flowy, and the views of the beach, and, and this one absolutely flies, so it's just down to me to just stick on Georgie's wheel, so it's good. Uh, leading into the ocean on your left-hand side, it was amazing. It was so much fun, it was so fast, and there was a few little jumps that you could fly over a little bit, and yeah, it was incredible. Actually gonna watch the crit this afternoon, and then we'll head to the pub for a drink. <laughs> We're here at the Fat Tire Dirt Crit. It's for the top 20 pro men, for top 15 pro women. And uh, there's also a junior race going on right now as we speak. We've got a one kilometre track here in the Margaret River High School. And top five will have time bonuses. There's a minute for the win, 45 seconds for second, 30 seconds for third. I think it's going to be uh, quite spicy tonight. They're going to have a red hot crack, I think. In previous years, we've had a shootout and it's had a downhill part to it. So this is uh, kind of really dead grass at the end of a sandy day. But uh, 12 and a half minutes. How bad can it be? It's definitely a unique course. I think it's going to be hard. I mean, there's a minute to gain if you're going to do well. So I think there'll be a few girls out there who want that minute. One, go! 
12 minutes plus one lap. Samara Shepard, I tell you what, have a look at this. Get behind it. Peter Mullins is coming. I knew Samara hasn't got a lot of top end speed, so I knew that when we hit Bell Lap, she was already sprinting. So I thought, as long as I can hold her wheel up this hill, I should be able to get around her before the corner. And of all the races, I mean, this, this weekend's a great weekend, and it's nice to do it in here in front of the locals and the Margaret River kids and for them to come out and support. <laughs> Yeah, it was awesome. I actually broached the idea with, the, with Jason and the guys to, to run a crit instead of the shootout. I'm stoked with how, how many people came out to check it out. I think the more this event grows, the better for Margaret River and the better for us elite riders to get our, our sponsors out there. It's perfect. I'm, I'm so glad everyone turned out. It's, yeah, really appreciate it. Year one Cape to Cape, it was a little bit different to what we see this uh, massive show now, but uh, I came over, my sister was living in Western Australia at the time, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and visit my sister. There's this bike race I'd been told about. There's a, uh, a dinner the night before uh, for all the competitors, and uh, we're sitting there and the race briefing, and Jason Dover sort of gets up and he's like, yeah, so it's not a race, it's a ride, and I like, which is like... <laughs> whatever <laughs> so the next day of course they say okay go we're going up the first climb quite a long climb and the pace is on and james williamson you know current 24-hour world champion leans over and goes pace is a bit hot for a ride boys and uh it was like everybody was like yeah this ain't no ride uh he then went on to attack us on the beach and win the stage convincingly it was a beautiful day through burn up forest actually quite similar to the trail alignment kind of this year and i attacked them through lewin estate and, and got away we were finishing out the back of uh, caravan park at margaret river and i'm hammering along the rail trail and I, like i didn't see any course markings but i spot just to the right of me like the finish arch and like the guys like setting up the finish line. So I slammed on the brakes, whipped the bike around, sort of rolled up and said to uh, Chris Letts, who was engaged to run the event, I said, um, am I meant to be finishing now? And he goes, you have got to be effing kidding me. And I'm like, well, if I am meant to be finishing now, there's a pack of like five guys. Oh no, there they go. And they uh, missed the turn and went screaming down the road. I'm like wolf whistling to them. Oh, oh, oh. And they turn around. He's scrambling for the car to find a stopwatch to try to get our times. And it's like, you know, but that was the Cape to Cape in year one. Here we are at Colonial Brewery for Stage 3 of Cape to Cape 2017. This is probably the uh, course that we're most excited about. It's really new. Normally we only use 5 or 6k of Middle Earth in Stage 4 in a traditional Cape to Cape. So to do what we're calling a Middle Earth special stage is uh, pretty exciting. Rod Lakeland, who's the guy that's uh, built a lot of trails out there, has put a power of work in and there's probably 25 to 30k of trail out there. We've picked the best 20 odd k and made a really great course. So this is my first year. I've generally I've been helping Giant out for the last three years as a mechanic, so yeah, this time it's my time. It's been a great, great event, and legs are feeling pretty good. And got our orange socks for today, and I think it's going to be an awesome day out there. What is it, 30 k's of single track? So yeah, bring it on. This is kind of the third year we've been down here, and I think each year you just kind of realize how special we are to have such an event in our backyard. So today's the big day. We're selling socks. It's Saturday Sock Day. And so everyone's got these cool orange Bike Doctor socks on. And actually everything that we're selling from the shirts to the mechanics that we're doing is all going as a donation to Bike Rescue Project, which takes some at-risk youth and you take them and you put them alongside some bike mechanics and some youth workers. And by kind of teaching them how to work on bikes, you can kind of re-engage them into whatever it is they want to do at the moment, which might be go back to school, go back to work, go back to TAFE. What they're achieving is really about getting kids back on track. The event's been amazing. It's the first time I've been here, so really impressed with the setup and the arrangement. It's been awesome. We'll be riding around the same people we've ridden around for the last couple of days, so have a few jokes out there and away you go.
You sit in a good group. Came through same with Samara yesterday. That was a good group to be in. Uh, everyone worked pretty well, and I just can't believe how strong the ladies' field is. I've never been chicked, <laughs> so it's you know it's kind of it's definitely an honour, and it's definitely just going to show how fast the girls are becoming. That's one of the things I love about Cape to Cape actually is is the people that you meet along the way. It's amazing, like the friendship you can kind of develop, just everyone suffering and riding the trails together. People from all over the world that uh, you race different stages and and phases with, and uh, they've been terrific. So it's been good. Mate, it's Jamie's 40th birthday today. So I think we all need to sing happy birthday before we uh, get into it today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jamie. That's unbelievable, yeah. Nice start to the day to get the old nerves settled down there. <laughs> Bit of happy birthday for the 40. So, no, looking forward to a good day out there today with the team and you're going to have some fun. It was actually pretty fun. Me, Vandy and Hamo got away literally off the gun and we sort of just got a bit of a gap and then through Middle Earth we could just like have a bit of fun. We had a good little buffer and we just kept it smooth and then when we popped out of there we were starting to get a bit dizzy actually and then it was just a bit of a grovel to the finish really. I saw Macca at the start, I'm like, oh let's ride together today, thinking he was going to do what he did yesterday and have fun. And then he dropped the attack and I'm like, wait up mate, we're said we're going to ride together, come back. <laughs> Super fun out there in Middle Earth. It was just super flowy and Macca was leading the way, towing me around the track. Groot was happy to let the guys roll off the front at the start. Being that they're so far back on the overall, so it sort of neutralises our bunch a bit, but yeah, for me, I just try to stay out of trouble. Just enjoy the Middle Earth single track and it's a great day out. Tried throwing a few punches out there, a few little attacks, but we're so fast today. I think we just did um, just over two hours, so when it's that fast, your attacks are kind of limited to where you can do them, but we knew Vandy and Dan were off the front. We just saw Vanny towards the end there, but we couldn't catch him. Really great day out there, Middle Earth. What an amazing place to go riding. Uh, seeing Rod Lakeland in the end of the trails. I was like, Rod! He's like, how was it? I'm like, awesome! Then it kind of came through to that final 10K. A, a couple of people tried some things, didn't get away, so we just got to ride in like mates. You know, that's how it is. I had Rowan Adams 10 seconds behind me and uh, Reese Tucknot and Russ Nankervis, I think, a couple of minutes behind as well. So, you know, I'm sort of looking behind and looking in front of the round the guys that I need to mark. So, you know, none of the teams are big enough to just chase everything and uh, fair play to them. You know, they've, they've lost time in other stages and they took an advantage of today's stage and that's that's how you do it. I was not prepared for <laughs> to do such a race at all so I'm riding with Paulie at the start and we saw Mackie go off the front and he's like I'm gonna go across to that and I'm like well I guess I may as well. <laughs> Ended up being a lot harder than expected but I was never gonna hold on to them through like 23k of single track so I thought I'd just give them the best chance they could. I came into it today with um, like a pretty healthy lead on GC but I can't help but just race as hard as I can, so I'm really happy to be able to do that again and have um, the other guys to push me and chase, and it was a lot of fun. It's a hard day, it's getting warm, but yeah, I came through, so in second yesterday I punctured. So today I had a bit extra motivation. Yesterday the creed that was definitely way too short for me, so my legs are really sore, but happy second. I appear to be alive. I can feel things. Stage three is a lucky stage for me, I think. I tend to have, tend to have a bit of success on stage three. But I put in an attack on Jess and Peter in the single track and didn't quite think it would end up holding them off. But yeah, I did somehow. You've got to risk it sometimes and it, sometimes it pays, sometimes it doesn't, but today it did.
That was real enjoyable today. Man, that Middle Earth and and uh, all that single track through the forest, they've done an amazing job in there. And that was really enjoyable. And you could let it go and I had a clear track and you could just send it through all those berms and jumps and single track. And it was just like, woo, 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 woo. That was really, really cool. That was just made for a really enjoyable, fun day. I had a crash um, over in the Middle Earth and then Glenn came past and picked me up. Pretty much went past and then I saw a bit of gold laying on the ground. He reckons he'd been there for about 15 minutes, but yeah, the wheel was still spinning, the back wheel was still spinning, so it's all a part of it. I always say to him, uh, if you don't crash, you're not trying hard enough, so that's all good. So you've got day, last day tomorrow to go hard. Getting lots of compliments about, uh, and putting lots of smiles on people's faces, and the supporters as well when, uh, when I go past, getting lots of claps and everything like that. They did an awesome job for winners. Yes, I did a spin, come for the camera. Good, Yeah, all over from Sydney, it's been great fun. Yeah, I love it, it's great. It's good to get dressed up. We cheer on everyone while we're waiting for these guys. They seem to be a little bit behind everyone else. <laughs> I'm a runner and I always appreciate when people do this for me, like when they're there at the finish line and cheering and doing all the crazy stuff. So finally I can do something back for them. Everyone's lovely. Everyone's always helping each other. And if anyone wants to get past, you pull over and everyone helping. We've helped people, people have helped us. It's amazing. It's such a cool atmosphere here today. It's so nice coming back in and you see the little lake and all the people and the music. It's pretty cool finish line. I had an absolute ball today. The Middle Earth section was so much fun. The guys have done a great job on all the trails, made it really flowy and everyone was really in a great mood around me and we just had a ball. It was so much fun. Yeah. We're lucky enough we've got meal tickets so we're coming back here. So a couple more beers. Lucky enough we used the bike doctor to uh, wash and lube the bike. So nothing to do tonight but come back for a, a nice meal and a couple of beers. Yeah, I know, right? Put it there. <laughs> Day one, uh, first year, and that was just an excuse to catch up with an editor. I was uh, writing for a mountain bike magazine and he was over participating in this event. So I came down and I thought he'd like some photos. So I took some photos and it went from there. Everything's grown. So my role has grown. The expectations of participants have grown. The event's grown. The trail access has grown. The actual amount of trails has grown. So everything has grown around it. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger each year. I try and capture the actual essence of that, and that's why I'm often hiding on a corner. I don't want them to see me. I want to get them in, in the moment. If people get these photos back and they say, oh, but I wasn't smiling, and that's not really the point, uh, they get a good photo. It means I often end up getting a lot of crashes, and that's not deliberate, but I always come across a place that I think would be interesting as a mountain biker. I want to set up there, I want to capture that emotion of someone coming through a tricky section fast and yeah, crashes happen, so yeah. There's a lot of adrenaline going, you're always trying to race them and beat them. And that was one of these incredible stages, one of the race leaders snapped his um, handlebars and just rode um, with half a handlebar. And there's been so many incredible things that have happened in this event over the years. And yeah, it just takes 10 years for you to remember back to something like that. So going back years and years and years ago, and look, it was probably year two, and I came down to actually ride, but because I was working, I could only ride a day. I actually rode it with my son, Reese, and he was only 14 maybe at the time, and we only wanted him doing one day, and people were putting pressure on him to do the whole race, and we wouldn't let him as parents, and it was, he was just too young. And anyway, as it turned out, we ended up riding at the start of that stage with James Williamson. And he didn't know me and sort of, he was a bit of a superstar at the time. And we were just telling him about Reese and not letting him ride at all. And he was just in awe. He was just going, that's awesome. I love it. He said, and that's what you've got to do. Don't let him ride the whole thing. You've got to get him fast. It really meant a lot to us. And so then Reese built on that and he got faster and faster and faster. And then last year, as commentator of the event, Reese has had a breakaway off the front on stage four. He's out front for 50 kilometres and all of the crew, all of the Cape to Cape workers, because he's been working on the event, everyone was that emotional because Kenny hold on to that gap that he's got and the gap was getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but he held on and won that stage. 
And it kind of went back to what James Williamson was saying. You've got to get fast. The endurance will come. You look back on that and you just think, wow, everything he said was so true. And now we have the James Williamson medal that means so much to everyone. Yeah, riding's my passion, my family's passion. But this year I asked JD, I said, mate, I've got to ride this event once and I want it to be the 10th anniversary. So he let me ride it and I said, look, I'm still happy to help. You know, we'll, we'll run the crit, do the prezos, love the event, but I tell you, riding it is, it's awesome. I'm just loving it. The design of this course is our traditional Muggy River special stage, which is normally stage three. Um, in the past, we've rolled through town, and I think being able to start in the middle of Margaret River as a celebration for year 10 is just a fantastic bonus. It's, it's always the highlight of the, the Cape is rolling down through the main street of, of Margs. It's Hollywood, really, I think. It's a Hollywood start, for sure. Oh, it's nothing quite like bombing down the middle of town, is it? Love it. It's the best part. The crowd's all together, everyone's cheering, the bells are ringing, it's great fun. Yeah, it's really cool to see how many people are out on the footpaths and stuff supporting the event. That's what's the beauty about these events is the community becomes involved. There's a lot of trade going to the businesses around here and especially the wineries and the brewery that we are at yesterday. So one here is a bit involved uh, with the school or like uh, all the shops, the sponsors. That's wonderful to see. It looks amazing what, what we have today. Um, short and sharp stuff and a lot of cornering. So much about not to do mistakes. We see what's happened today, it's a bit different condition. It's three minutes, I think yesterday uh, she put four minutes into me and I had a bit of a cruisier day yesterday with the aim of being able to get through today a little bit easier. So hopefully uh, with the single track that we've got on offer and it kicks in quite early, uh, hopefully I can uh, stick with her. They've turned it on for us, the weather's amazing. Looking forward to some trails in the pine forest and Hopefully I can keep this <laughs> for the final stage. Look, really looking forward to it. Obviously, I've got a little bit of a time buffer, which is good. Should be qu quite a good stage, hopefully a little bit shorter than the last few days, which, which should be, mean that the, uh, the pace is a little bit higher, but should be a, a fantastic day. I'll hopefully finish it off. It's been a good cape to cape so far. Pretty aggressive racing every day, but people are, are keen to move up on the overall behind me. And that's good, good for me as well, if I can manage to go with them. Survived three so far, feeling good. Have been feeling good on the bike, so... Uh, anything can happen in mountain bike racing. I've got a minute 50 lead on Reese Tucknot. I have a sneaking suspicion he was kind of resting his legs yesterday. He's going to throw something down. He's a really competitive guy and I like the way he races. If I get out just over two minutes, I could go from sixth to third, but uh, yeah, the tough competition in the field and Cam Ivory, Ryan Adams and Andy Blair are the three that are in front of me. So I think it'll be on like Donkey Kong for the next 48-ish K. means a lot. I mean, it's, it's not one you win easily because everyone turns up and a you know, real challenge to, to arrive on form after a, a long winter and uh, go up against the best in the country. Really honoured to take the James Williamson medal. He was, yeah, a real good mate of mine, so it means a lot. So, yeah, I'm pumped, really happy. And we went pretty early with um, Tazzy and, and Ryan, and they were riding really well. Made a break, 15k to go, and then had an off, coming down one of the scents real quick and shook me up, so I was sort of a bit dazed for a bit, picking myself up, and um, yeah, the guys obviously caught up and then sort of a bit of cat and mouse towards the finish, but yeah, it was a great stage, great tour. Didn't leave anything out there today. Yeah. The first half of the race, I just went all out. 
and uh, we did mean Trekkie worked together really hard to keep the other bunch just behind us. And then I really suffered the last 10k there. Trekkie attacked a few times. Yeah, I'm super happy. Really happy to get through it this year and um, in good health, unlike last year. Uh, I'm probably not in the same form as I was in last year, but I'm just glad I could get through all of the stages. Got to ride a lot of single track that I missed out on last year. I think the last few days have caught up to me. I had a small mechanical issue and couldn't get into my bottom few gears. So yeah, leg speed was um, was pretty high out there today. And still managed to, to lead out handy at the end. Yeah, it was a good day. No, I'm real happy. So it's been a bit of an up and down couple of years and with a lot of changes as well in my life. So just to be back and racing with the guys again, it's um, it's real good. And uh, I'm super happy for Cam in, in third place. To have both of us in the top five was a good result. You know, he's just come off a break. So we're real happy with that. I threw everything out there. I'm like, no bullshit. I threw everything. Um, Blairy and uh, Ivory were super strong. One of my attacks up a hill, like I gave it all and we got to the top and I said to Blairy, oh well, there's that done. Uh, so we just swapped hands to finish then. <laughs> I'm pretty emotional. Actually, after the port to port, I went into a bit of a, um, a state of depression and um, training for this sort of pulled me out of it. So yeah, I, I am a bit emotional. I went through some really hard times there for about six weeks and I sought help and still continue to get help and thanks to the whole team and everybody for making this what it is. I never let myself fully believe it, like that I was going to win until I literally crossed the line so I'm super happy. Um, anything could have happened out there today but it went well and I enjoyed the single track with a lot of the other competitors out there today and it was a fantastic way to finish off a great four days racing. It's the best feeling actually, so couldn't have asked for a better four days except for a few crashes. But for my race, fantastic. Just treat it as one big, big race. I just get in the groove and my head down and I was suffering today, but that's the nature of the game we all were. <laughs> Tamara's hard to beat when I'm really fit, uh, so to come here and even be that close to her when I'm unfit is, is quite exciting for me. So yeah, I mean, she's a deserving winner and last year we had really close battles and, and I think she was a lot better than me last year, so it was nice that she could come here and sort of stamp her authority on this race. Today's single track is my most loved single track uh, in Margaret River, so it was kind of really nice to be able to put some time into the girls there and um, finish a strong second. When she passed me, I just I felt really a bit sore, like this, yeah, the legs, I couldn't really hang on. And I also wanted a little bit of enjoy today, so it was good riding with Bryony. And the long heels helped me to get away and, yeah, to come in the third. I was trying to stick on different wheels today, and if that meant, you know, being that far from the rider in front of me through a big river crossing, then that's kind of what it meant, so. Really exciting race between myself, Renata and Peter. We were sort of attacking each other at different times and in the end they both reigned supreme. I mean, they're, they're both really classy riders, they got good legs. Couldn't quite stay with them on some of the open sections and the climbs, but I think I gave it a pretty good whack in the single track. We managed to uh, have a good race and uh, yeah, I came over here hoping to sort of get sort of top three and very, very happy to come out with the green jersey and uh, yeah, for, for John who's had it for so many years, it's pretty special to finally get one for myself. He showed this week he's a really strong rider. A strong, classy field, a lot of depth and he's been right up there every day so yeah, he, he deserves it. The elite guys are extremely high calibre. We've got some of the best riders in the world here at this event so very, very happy to be sort of mixing it with those boys. Just don't quite have it for a full stage distance. Maybe uh, 20, 25 minutes in, I was with Rob Eber. Feeling great. I was in the 10, really fast on the fly road, pedaling along, and I hear this rustling in the bushes, and this kangaroo, like, as high as I was, comes bounding out, like, what? And it just, like, skims my front wheel Holy and jumps shit. off. And I was like, did that just happen? And Rob's like, that, that was a kangaroo. That was a roo. It happened. Then after that, we went to wheelie through a puddle, and again, in the in the 10, so we're going really fast and just like went down low side, doing about 40. Rob comes by, shit, 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 shit. Jumping over my bike, oh man. So many moments and jumping this and casing that and whew. I was just following this uh, downhill athlete. He's just having a great morning, right? And next minute this kangaroo, like bigger than this dude, maybe a Paul Vanderplug, jump basically in front of me. And he's talking, he's going nuts, he's going good. And then I watch him just do 360s in front of me in this puddle about 40, 50 k. Now you did an epic ride, mate. Well done. Yeah. That was awesome. It's been a good four days. It's always nice to finish, though. Now that you can relax and just chill out. Really relieved. When you come into an event, you don't know. It depends on who else is going to turn up and how everyone else is. So you don't, you're not really sure how you're going to go. It's my fifth year, and I think I've done better and better each year. So for it all to come together this year with the big celebrations, fantastic. Thought it was done. I started running home, and and then this bloke yelled out. 
grabbed my hand and he towed me about 500 metres up the road there and I uh, had to run across the line, but yeah, got there, but thanks, mate. I had a couple of mechanicals the last few days. My time's not important. I could see he was desperate, running the last kilometre. What else can you do? You have to do. He could have gone past me and uh, that just helped me get over the line and, you know, now I can still beat a couple of my mates. <laughs> What do you want to know? <laughs> oh, incredible, fantastic, tense year. Ten time, of course, the line finished there. Awesome. Best stage. The whole thing is just fantastic. You know, just finish the race, you talk to anybody, you know, it's, everybody's so friendly. And been in a single track today, everybody gives you room, you know, lets you go past. Amazing, you know, it's just amazing. This was a personal goal for me and finished it. It's awesome. Yeah, thanks to this one. Yeah, it was amazing. It was so cool. It was, it was beautiful. Hard. Everyone was pretty tired today, I think. So it's a holiday for us as well. So we're trying to make the most of where we are and need a cool to see it. It's five years for me doing Cape to Cape, so I've got to go off with a bang. And, you know, my support crew's done an absolute fantastic job and good way to finish it off with a bit of a splash. And, yeah, we've come a long way in the last five years and we've brought along a lot of new guys uh, with different kinds of disabilities from different kinds of riding backgrounds. And, you know, that's why we do this. We want to get more people involved in mountain biking with all abilities. And, you know, I think we've done a great job. Ten years for Cape to Cape, five years for us. Great celebration at the end of this. Day. They've all, uh, over the last four days, they've been struggling, sore legs, sore everything, and uh, but backed themselves up and survived. Probably the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, it was hard, but yeah, very rewarding. All here with our mates. And these boys put on a bit of a clinic all, all week, but um, yeah, happy to be a part of it. All week's been full of banter, mornings and night, mate, you know, it's uh, never a dull moment, and today's tracks were great. To so ride with a group of guys like this. Like this young fella, mate, I'll take my hat off to him. Just an absolute champ. It's pretty awesome, eh? Me and Kieran, we had a bit of a bet going on that if uh, he didn't beat me, I was going to cut his little Goldilocks off, so I can get it started right now if you want me to. There's <laughs> <laughs> more to come. We're going to put a bowl in his head later and cut it properly, but, yeah. I'm not losing another bet. That definitely doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> Gotta go back to school tomorrow. No, but um, it was a good race. Uh, yeah, wouldn't have done it without these guys. Yeah, had a good laugh out the way. And hopefully I'm with them next year. When you have an accident like I've had, you've, uh, you're down to the bottom and uh, you've got to build yourself up. There's things that they've seen and you wouldn't want mates to see, but they've done and come in and uh, said they're all keen to do the Cape to Cape for me and uh, yeah, they've done it. So I've got to design a bike. I'll be riding with the boys in 2018 and let's go for next year. Yeah, get ready.